Jamal Willis, that's you right there. <laughs> Do you please take this woman, whom you now hold by the hand, to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? Lauren McLaughlin, that's you right there. <laughs> Do you take this woman, this man, who, who now stands? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to focus. Amen. <laughs> Lauren McLaughlin, do you take this man who now stands by your side and holds you by the hand to be your lawful wedded husband? I sure do. <laughs> Do people smile when no one's smiling? It's cause they're thinking of someone they're loving. Keep on believing we are meant to me and nothing's now I'm clever This mountain's just my ladder It gets better For wedding song is because of you and me and sweet as love. Finally, I can't believe it's you and me. You're my sweet love. I got the sweetest love. There ain't nothing sweeter. I got the sweetest love.
built with, with material and stuff. Say amen. amen. So today I would like to invite you to the wedding ceremony, ceremony of holy matrimony. Let the church say holy matrimony. Holy matrimony. Amen for the union of, of brother Jamal Willis and sister Lauren McGraw. And you don't mind if I read a little scripture, do you? Okay, I'm going to read some scripture from the Old Testament and then some from the New. Please remain standing if your stilettos aren't hurting you while we read the scripture. Genesis 2.20 says, But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the woman, and he brought her to the man, and the man said, now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. In the New Testament, I'll be reading Ephesians 5, verses 21 through 26. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ, wives and husbands. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is saved. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wife, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with the water through the word. Let the church say amen. amen. Now, I'm going to ask the groom if he would stand over next to his wife to the right of his future bride and I'm going to ask the father of the bride to just take two steps back. That's called the changing of the guard. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and the first miracle that he performed in Cana, of Galilee. Holy matrimony is recommended and commended by Paul to be honorable among all, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. And to this holy estate, these two people present come now to be joined, if anyone, I said anyone, 
can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let them now speak or hereafter forever hold their peace. So we don't have, a, have to bust a cap today. You may be seated. You may be seated. I bought mine. And those of you who didn't bring yours, you're at a disadvantage. Who gives this woman to be wed? I give. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. His services are no longer needed. You may be seated. Amen. And now, if you, Jamal Willis, and you, Lauren McLaughlin, have presently appeared for the purpose of being joined together in legal and holy wedlock, will you please signify this intention by the uniting of your right hands? Right hands. Amen. Jamal Willis, that's you right there. <laughs> Do you please take this woman, whom you now hold by the hand, to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto her, as long as you both shall live. Lauren McLaughlin, that's you right there. Do you take this woman, this man, who, who now stands? I'm sorry, I have to focus. Amen. Lauren McLaughlin, do you take this man who now stands by your side and holds you by the hand to be your lawful wedded husband? I sure do. <laughs> Do you promise to love and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, and forsaking all others, keeping thee only unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. Hallelujah. Do you both mutually promise in the presence of God, angels, and these witnesses that you will at all times and in all circumstances, conduct yourselves toward one another as becomes husband and wife? We do. Yes. That you will love, cherish, and adhere to one another until separated by death? Yes. Will you please signify this, uh, Brother Willis, by placing a ring upon your a fiance bride? Amen. That's a nice joint. <laughs> I bet you set, set you back a grip. Yeah. Let me see that. Go ahead, Brother Willis. Brother Willis must have hit the number. And... Amen. Would you please signify your intentions by presenting him with a ring. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> you must have been down the casino or something. <laughs> Having taken these present pledges of your affection and vows of fidelity, I do therefore, by the authority of the laws of the state of New Jersey, sanctioned by divine authority, pronounce you, Jamal, and you, Lauren, lawfully married, husband and wife, in the name of the Father, he is the creator of all things, and of the Son, he's the one that died for your salvation, and of the blessed Holy Spirit, he's the one that keeps it all together. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put us under. Amen. Let's give God some praise. We come before you to this evening just to thank you, Lord God, for this most joyous occasion. 
and for the opportunity to witness this wonderful couple in marriage. Lord God, they belong to you, but we know that marriage comes with a lot of challenges and sacrifice. And because of that, I come to lift up my sister, your daughter, Lauren, in prayer because of those challenges and because of the sacrifice. Lauren, I pray that the Lord will give you strength to be the wife that Jamal needs. I pray that you would learn to submit to your husband. God made you. He knows that you are a very, very strong woman. One with a beautiful career, one with beautiful education, but you must learn to submit to your uh, husband as unto the Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you would allow them to have an exciting marriage, that it would not ever get stale. Lauren, I pray that you will respect your husband. I pray that you would learn to balance family, husband, and career. And I pray that the two of you would have beautiful children in God's time. And more than anything, I pray that you too would allow your marriage to be exciting, that it will be filled with passion and desire. I want to say that again. Have it be filled with passion and desire. And in that passion and desire, that the Lord will be in the center of your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. As we continue in prayer. Lord, you told us in your word uh, that a man ought to leave his father and his mother and he ought to cleave unto his wife. So Lord, now I just counted an honor to come and to be able to pray for my brother Jamal. I pray, Father God, that he would be Lauren's provider, that he would be provide all her needs, whether they be physical or spiritual, but not only a provider, but he would be a protector of his home, that he would be a protector of his family, and Father God, that he would be a protector of the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But not only that, Lord, he also needs to be the priest of his home, that he would stand up and take leadership uh, in his family and in his home, and even in his church, Lord, that he would step up and take leadership in his church. And not only that, Lord, that he ought to be a sanctifier in his home. One Father God who knows the word of God and one who should lead his family in devotions, uh, lead his family in prayer, uh, just be a leader in his home. But Lord, I also pray, Lord, that he would forever be intoxicated with his love for Lauren. Lord, we all know those of us who know Lauren, Lord, she's a sweetheart. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, that he would forever remember, Lord, that he that he has a sweetheart and that he will continue to be forever intoxicated with her love. And then, Lord, through it all, we just pray that uh, you would be his guiding light as he travels this journey Amen. and begins this journey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We now ask uh, Sister Bodison to please come forward so that she can direct the memorial candle, uh, how that will be handled. The bride and groom wanted to take a moment to acknowledge the family members who have gone home to be with the Lord before them. They acknowledge that these family members have helped to mold and shape them into the men and women that they are. This evening, the bride and groom would like to acknowledge Ms. Julia Alexander, the grandmother of the bride. Ms. Marie Sparrow, the grandmother of the bride. Ms. Teresa Taylor, the Anne of the Bride. Ms. Rosemarie Willis, the mother of the groom. Master Jamal Willis Jr., the son of the groom. And Ms. Tawan Willis, the sister of the groom. May the Lord bless them and continue to keep them. Amen.
Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, I just want to say uh, uh, in my remarks that I, I am so very proud of both of you, Lauren. I've known you almost since you were, well, since you were a little child. And I've seen you grow into a, a wonderful, desirable woman, uh, a godly woman, a virtuous woman. And I am so very, very proud of you. Um, Brother Jamal, I haven't known you nearly as long as Lauren, but if I was to pick uh, someone to marry my daughter, it would be a person like you. A person of integrity, a person who loves the Lord, a person who loves his wife and his bride. And I truly believe with every fiber of my being that you are going to make a wonderful, solid, manful husband for my daughter. So you stay encouraged and know this, I will be watching from afar and from the near. If you decide to move over to China, I'll still be watching you. I'll get someone to monitor you on Facebook. But whatever happens, take good care of her. And daughter, uh, take good care of him. Be a good woman to your husband. Do the things that other women don't do. Whatever you can do to, to make his life better, enrich his life in any way, to encourage him in any way, just do it. And God will take care of everything. If you love one another, believe me, things will work out in a major way. You will get through some storms through love. When these beautiful bodies that you have right now start to fade and start to drop, you're going to have to rely on love. When, when you start to need the thick bifocals because you can't see how pretty she is anymore, you're going to have to rely on love. When the bills get too high and things get too hard, you're going to have to rely on love. When people talk about you and talk you down and, and, and slander your name, you're going to have to rely on love. It's going to be love to get you through. So you stay encouraged. You stay encouraged. Keep your focus on Christ, and Christ will take Amen. care of your marriage. Stay encouraged, encouraged, and never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, ever give up. That's no right. matter what happens, right. never throw the towel away. Fight for your man. Fight for your woman. Never give up under any circumstances. Never let anybody come between you and him. No matter what. Stay encouraged. Is it now okay for me to introduce the couple? Yeah. Is that all right? Is that all right? Yes. Can I kiss? Amen. Before I do that, we're going to allow him to get some spit. You may now kiss the bride.
first I'm gonna start off by saying, first I'm, I'm not. <laughs> First, I want to start off by saying, um, I'm so proud of y'all. I love you, Jamal. I've been team Jamal from the beginning. You can ask Lauren. <laughs> um, I really love you like a brother, like a brother I never had. I remember that conversation we had when I was going through it. It really opened up my eyes. Lauren, everybody know how I feel about my sister. That's my heart. That's my everything. My mentor, best friend, backside, everything. Like, she's everything. Thank you. That was beautiful. Praise the Lord. Come here, Mia. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm not by myself. I'm not by myself. Um, listen, uh, Marzi. We call him Marzi. We ain't trying to hear all that. Marzi, we got the same grandma, right? Yeah. yeah. We brothers. We brothers. Grandma, I see you, baby. We brothers. Um, all I got to say is this, man. Marzi, uh, let, 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 let's make it like sports, right? Everybody watch sports, right? Yeah, yeah y'all watch sports. Um, that's a beautiful team they got. A beautiful team. All I'm saying is this. Don't let your star player don't play a role in the game. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let the star player get in, in the way of the role player. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? You my role player right now. Play your role. All I'm saying is, man, make this team beautiful. We congratulate you on your accomplishments and the things you've done and the beautiful uh, 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 thing you had today that we are in. And um, just make y'all uh, team complete, man. Win no chips. <laughs> stay a team the whole time, man. Neil, what you got to say? Uh, you said it all. You said it all. I got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, we love you. you said it all, man. We love you, man. Congratulations, man. Shalom. <laughs>
Pray to God that you 